from the Board Game Mechanics, and I'm back with another unboxing. We have got, I believe, three games, but two might not be complete games. Let's get cutting and let's see what we got. Okay, this has been well taped. Oh, I'm like worried. I'm, oh, I'm a little worried about this one. I have no idea what's in here. Feels pretty heavy. Oh, okay, okay. I was worried that I was cutting right into the actual game box. Oh my gosh. I'm a little confused on why this flat rate box was used and I cut it up. Oh boy. Whoever sent this, you're hilarious. Oh my gosh. Sure, <laughs> this video is shaking all over the place because it's really hard to get into this dang box. My gosh. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, oh boy. I feel like I'm like wrestling an alligator or something. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, all right. I have opened the box, everybody. Check this out. You guys get to see it before me. Maybe not. <laughs> nope. Just kidding. Oh, it's stuck in a bag. Okay, kind of cool. Short hot games. Maybe. Okay, okay, okay. Aha! Quests and Cannons. The Risen Islands. I don't know anything about this game. My life is really exciting. Stuff just shows up at my house because Jason does all the behind the scenes work. And I'm like, oh, look, this came. Oh my gosh. Sorry, everybody. This is a rough one. I'm terrible. Okay. Um, ooh, this is a, like a big old rule book with a story. The nice thing about this is, ooh, the like layouts and stuff, that's cool. But again, not tiny print. I could read this without my reading glasses. All right, okay. Oh, bunch of dice in here, okay. Um, oh, look at these. I don't know what these are. Um, the state of Oregon, <laughs> or Washington, I mean. I don't know what those are, okay. It looks like, I, this might be a prototype, um, but whoever had it before us put it away like a Neanderthal. Ooh. Well, but they get chipped too. Yes, that's true. Scrollbound Librarium, Wind Shear Retreat. Okay, what is this game about? Far beneath the surface of the ocean, a set of mysterious islands arises and mystifies the seafaring travelers of Miraheim. Strange happenings begin to unfold across the world. Can, captaining your trusted ship, armed with cannons, clues, and cunning, will you take on this quest? Okay, so some kind of quest. Ooh, like there's like little sea monsters in here and some rocks and... Okay, interesting tiles. This has got to be put away better. This is madness, I tell you. Okay, some looks like resources, canvas, slumber, spice. Oh, oh, oh. We got a die break free. Um, these are neat, like little side pieces. So it looks like the board's variable. That's not the right thing. Um, more, more ocean tiles. Money? Cannons? All right, sales, um, trading post, and a ship. Cool. Okay, so you get your ship. Oh, 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 this looks like player powers right here, which I love your different characters. These are nice. Cool. Yeah, these dual layer player boards. So you get your ship. You can tuck your stuff in there. That's cool. Little, I don't know what that is. More little water tiles. Yeah. Karis Thornfur. Dwenny Luck. Once on your turn, you may discard a loot card from your hand to change a die roll to a six. Men's Ship. Oh, it looks like all the player powers are the same. Dang it, I was really excited. Every, oh no, that one, this one has Pork and alchemy. Okay, so some of them are the same. I guess if you maybe you want to play easier, 
And then, yeah, there's some, no, Dwellish Mobility. Those are the same. What about the other side of the two-sided? No, they're not two-sided. Okay, so it looks like there's a couple of different player powers, and then you start with different things. Um, and then there's like a crap ton of cards for what you're doing. I, this looks like a lot. It looks quite interesting. Um, so we're going to have to rebag this uh, and try it out. All right, this one seems much easier to get into. Thank you very much, Stonemeyer Games. Hey. Hey, Jamie. I know you didn't actually send this out. You got minions to do your work. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, he makes all his videos. Ooh, bubble wrap. Not chintzy. Not chintzy, Jamie. Good job. Ooh, this appears to be an expansion. Oh, yeah. Oh, balls. There we go. Between two castles of Mad King Ludwig, Secrets and Soirees expansion. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's in here? Just throwing a party, inviting the neighbors. Two new, um, two new room types, activity and secret rooms. Oh, I love secrets. Um, a, a new type of specialty room, a ballroom, yes. Bonus cards and a new throne room. So it played, did it play up to eight before? Oh, so now it plays to eight. However, if you'd rather party alone, there's also an autumn solo mode in this expansion. Hello. And as well as optional rules for a new mode of play where two to eight players in which you build your own castle instead of sharing with your neighbors. That's music to Jason's ears right there. <laughs> okay, let me let me open it and see what's inside. I I love the art for this. I gotta tell you, always. All right, we got a nice little rule book. Ooh, it's like it's linen finish. The two solitaire modes are here, and then uh, their own thing. Yes, to the square pads, always the best. Oh, whose turn is it? I'm guessing this is Adama, maybe. Because it makes me think, what? Look at this nice little insert piece. It supposedly fits in the base game exactly <gasps> as is. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh, little castle in the little. Okay, more cards. Tile cards. And look at these punch outs. Festivus room. There's a Festivus room. Puzzle room, flute room, play room, crystal cave. Flying buttresses, a train room, an oratory, a printing room, story room, table tennis, a climbing room. This is very modern. Um, ooh, so these are secrets. Out the window, around the corner, amidst the plants, push the third stone at the end of the rainbow. Oh, I want to see what those do. And here's the ballroom. Everybody gets a ballroom, possibly, behind the bookcase. A jammery where you can jam and make jam. Ooh, a tent room. It's like every kid's favorite thing. It's a you it's like a room a tent, but it's inside a house. Cool, cool. Oh, promo tile. Hey yo. Dice tower room. Scythe oh, scythe room game storage. A saxophone room. Party storage. Ball storage. Yep. I recognize that. I get that reference. I like the party story. It's got like um, a chandelier in it and like some garland. That's pretty hilarious. I cannot wait to play this one. All right. This is another box from Stonemeyer. Although I have to appreciate after unwrapping that other <laughs> box. Um, the, they, these are much easier to open. I tell you. Ooh, and I, I'm digging the bubble wrap. I know you didn't do this personally, Jamie, but thanks. Oh, oh can you see it? Can you see it through the bubble wrap? Can you see what this is? Apparently, we've just been getting expansions from Stonemeyer. It is Tuscany Essential Edition. So, we do own Viticulture. Um, and actually, was it somewhere on the ribbon? I'm not sure. Somebody was playing this 
with Tuscany and talking about how that this expansion just really makes the game, which I love Viticulture already. Um, we have the Essential Edition. Yes. I don't know any of the differences between the old one. Extra season on this board. No, 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 no. Before oh, it came yeah. Essential Edition. Okay. Yeah, because people talk about that all the time. Doesn't yeah, extended board. Um, um, these spe special little workers, and let me tell you, totes adorbs. So, if nothing else, <laughs> I don't know this expansion to look at the workers, because you know how I am about wooden pieces, people. Five, three modular expansion, special workers, extended board, and structures. There were structures before. Okay. Okay. Oh, lordy. Double sided board. Is this a solo side or? Mm. It's Tuscany. I like these little. Is this on before? This yes. artwork behind those? I think it was. This one is easier to fold out. Is this the same? Yeah? No, but I mean... Uh, I'm not sure. They might be different. What oh, no. you say? This one has actually the extra cards. So the other okay. side doesn't have those extra cards. Yeah. Extra cards. So that's a different Structures. Side. These structures. are structures. Um, this season here. Oh, I like the color they did this one. And then um, this little map down here. I like it. Oh, and the... You know. We actually played on this the first time. Hmm. I don't remember that. Oh, look at these cute little stars. Okay. I don't think we have stars in ours. Must be for the... Every other show my way. I know. Look at these little, little, little ladies. So cute. And these little guys. I mean, it's not later hosen because they're Italian, but they're little farmer overalls. Oh, I love them. These pretty stars. Ooh, a cask. That's really pretty. These little, I think these are structures. Structures. You can, because you can destroy it. Uh, yeah, it's just the different modules. Yeah. Farmer. Um, special certified worker. Yeah, it affects these guys. I think. Yeah, when you place the farmer on the board, you may gain a total of one bonus of your choice among the bonuses on the action, even if the farmer is not on a bonus action space. Oh, this is going to be so good. I can't wait. So that is the Tuscany expansion for Viticulture from Stonemaier Games. All right. So that was our not so boring, but probably boring unboxing. Two games from Stonemaier. Quests and Cannons. I love so much of what are in these boxes, like fun little bits for me to play with. I cannot wait. So keep watching. We will have um, reviews for those on our channel soon because Jason is awesome at that. Um, if you like these reviews, if you're excited about reviews from those, um, give us a message down in the comments. If you like my unboxings, like them, subscribe to our channel, um, click on that little bell and you'll get notifications when we put up new videos. Um, if you're not into the YouTube game, we've got other media. Come check us out on Facebook, our Facebook group, hashtag the riveted. We would love to have you join us and talk about games or post some pictures on our Instagrams, or give us a little tweet on Twitter. So I've been Katie. Keep gaming, everybody.